we're ready to do some headlights. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to use fiber optics since we've got two lights in each light mount. Okay, so like this. Here's this fiber optic fits perfect in there. What I'll do is I'll sort of melt the end until it makes a little bulb. Then I'll push it all the way in. And then on the back side, I'm going to snip it off. Because this time, instead of running it through here, instead of running it through here and then heat shrinking it into an LED, uh, what I'm going to do this time, so I'm going to put in the lenses. Then I'm going to put a flat panel. This is a surface mount device, light. And here I have one wired up. So the trick with these things are, which look like this. That's what they look like on the front. That's what they look like on the back. And normally they are supposed to be marked of which one's the plus and which is the minus. But a lot of them, that come, they come in these rolls. A lot of them that come like this are not marked. So you have to test it. You have to figure out how it works. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So now, right now, I've got the bench top power supply set at 2 volts. And I'm just going to line it up. Now, the if you can see there, there are two little strips on each end. One of them plus, one of them is minus. So i got 2 volts. I'm going to touch a red and a black lead to the sides here. See if I can get it to let. Oh, there we go. Lit up. Very good. So then I want to flip it over and check. Now, what happens if we turn it around? Is it still going to light? No, it is not. Okay. So that means that side is the minus. And we're going to mark it. Since they are our normally marked with some type of a green arrow or a dot we're going to put a green we're going to put a green dot on that short side okay that's that tells us now that that's how it is okay but then how do you use them well remember little colossus crane here it's got one there one there and there's another one back in there as you can see, I did it like I did it like that. That's really hard to do, and I don't recommend doing that. Um, it's just, it's really really tough to to get that to work right. This is a PC board tie from Oak Hill Oak Hill Track Supply or Oak Hill. Model Railroad, and when it's it's Oak Hill in Wisconsin. Okay, he sells these PC board ties in this length, and they've got copper clad on both on both sides. What these are, these are ties for when you're laying your own your own track, and you cut them to length. You get your rails on here, then you take a file and you put a gap in the middle, and now you've got two basically like two strips like on our PC boards. Then you solder on the rails, and these are super strong, and they don't go out of gauge. Your track is soldered to it, holds them nicely in place, and you use it for some electrical stuff, too. They're really easy to attach feeder wires to. But anyways, you can also use them for making things like my LED strip here. This is going to go inside a building, and it's got all, it's got four of these bright ones on it. It'll be a ceiling light. So what I did is I took a little tiny piece, I put a gap in it, and then what you do is you you, you very carefully, you put some rosin flux on, just a dot there and a dot there, and then you just touch it with your soldering pencil so that there's a little blob there. Then, you take your something like a PC board tie or another PC board you put your gap in and you make sure where the big gap is right there do not let this center thing 
and this one over here be in the same in the same section the gaps got to go right between them so you make a gap you tin it then you put these on here you hold them and you solder right here it'll melt and this will sit right down on it and then you're good so then what we want to do is we want to put two leads on it and so on the ends of resistors these parts that you trim off once you get it to length you trim off I save those for a little while and in this case I use them to be my leads now I'm going to clip them off and I'm going to put the correct color wire on here and heat shrink it on and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this panel right on top of right on top of the fiber optics in here I'll get it right I'll secure it in there right in there and they're super bright oh that one leads too long anyways then you get the idea it's going to go right in there right up against the fiber optics should give me a nice bright light so that's how we're going to do that now why don't we just go ahead and take a quick look and see what these guys are going to look like they are bright to be sure i've got i've got a marked i got the green one marked for the black wire oh these guys take more juice they give you 3.7 Let's see if you can see this. All right, let's zoom in. Oh, let, let's zoom in. Okay, now. Maybe I can set it like this. And maybe I can come around. Oh, man. Okay, let's get this right again. Okay, now. If I go like that, and I go like... And I go somehow, some way, I get this guy to not tip over. All right, we get it. That's pretty bright. That'd be pretty good. And I like these SMBs because they come in big rolls and they're not expensive at all. And they come in different colors. Alright, so that is what we are doing now. And hopefully we're going to throw in, we're going to test this locomotive in DCC. I'm going to try one of these DH-140s that I pulled out of something else. See if this, that'll tell us if this Dakota works. And it'll let us run around a 15 inch radius. And see how she goes maybe try pulling some cars <laughs> 